A brief recap of some top local headlines this morning, starting with the Catholic Diocese of Sacramento filing for bankruptcy. The diocese faces more than 250 lawsuits claiming sexual abuse by clergy or other church staff. Bishop Jaime Soto says he believes bankruptcy is the best way to address all the claims. Otherwise, he says funds would be exhausted with the first cases that go to trial. Day-to-day -day activities of local parishes and schools in the North State should continue uninterrupted. A 24-year-old was arrested Sunday, accused of attacking his grandmother, leading to a standoff with police at the Lazy Landing Mobile Home Park in Redding. The crisis response and SWAT teams were called in to help negotiate getting him out. A canine was deployed to help take the suspect in. He was booked into jail for elder abuse and other charges. View County Board of Supervisors set to meet today to hear a report on how people feel about a potential new tax measure to help fund the county library. Back in September, the board awarded a contract to a Bay Area company called Team Civics and FM3 to pull residents and gather data from the public. Some Butte County residents will be getting a little extra support from a new grant from the federal government. It's a grant approved by the federal government, all with the aim of fostering healthy learning environments, including helping campuses respond to acts of violence, bullying, or harassment. The county will bring on 10 wellness coaches, as well as two credentialed counselors, plus one prevention coordinator. Eureka Police Department is hosting its annual blood drive. It's happening tomorrow at the Northern California Community Blood Bank in Eureka. They'll be there from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. So head on down. It is an important time of year to donate blood and as it can save lives and make a positive impact on those who need it most this season. And that's it for your top news headlines. Preston, what do you got for us in weather? A beautiful day on the way, no matter where you are, Nazi. We're seeing temperatures climbing into the upper 50s out at the coast. We'll call it partly cloudy there and maybe mostly sunny for our inland areas, but just a little cooler in the mid 50s. And for the valley, it's those 60s once again. We'll call it breezy down the I-5 corridor. Gusts up to 30 miles per hour possible, especially in Redding and Red Bluff. But even down to Willows, things could be a little gusty at times. Sunny skies everywhere, though. Chico looking at 62, 64 in Red Bluff and 65 there in Redding. We'll see mostly those mid to upper 50s in Trinity County and over, out over the eastern high country, a mix of upper 40s to low 50s for the most part. And here's a look at those winds picking up in Redding first and continuing down to Red Bluff as we continue through the morning and into the early afternoon. Gusts up to maybe 35 miles per hour possible and things stay fairly calm in Chico and Oroville, but those gusty winds continue through the day before calming down overnight and into your Wednesday. So gear up for a breezy day today and uh, enjoy that sunshine. All right. Thank you so much, Preston. And we're going to let our friends at home get some love on daybreak. We're going to share how you're chiming in. Heck yeah. Starting with this picture sent in by our viewer, Devin McDonald. This is Devin's <laughs> dog, Hudson. <laughs> Hudson, what is up? <laughs> Hudson is like, are those for me? Feeling the full <laughs> holiday spirit, Hudson. I got you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> All right. This one is sent in to us by Eric Jackson, our friend on the coast. Some holiday lights in Eureka. Eric says he is feeling festive and hopes that we can all get into the spirit a little bit. I love that. Yeah, everyone at home should definitely send us pictures of their holiday lights. We love to see them. That's a beautiful Christmas display there. Love the happy trees yeah, in the background. Happy trees. <laughs> Where'd you get those lights? How fun and festive. Love, love, love. Send us your holiday lights. Make sure you give us your name, where they are, because maybe we want to go live in yeah. our show. Maybe we'll do a little live interview with you. You never know. Make sure to mention if you watch Daybreak. So we know which show to put your pictures in. A beautiful sun coming up, just like Preston said, man, you called it. Got that part right. We'll see about the rest of the day. <laughs> All right. Speaking of the rest of the day, we hope you make it a good one. It's like what we say, make it a great day. Because you got a choice.